Red Text has just said, you have to wonder when Barrow visits again at his normal scheduled time, how will he re react to an Aorus Prime? That is a question I have been asking myself as well. More so because Barrow will not be here on Friday because he doesn't leave until Saturday. And I'm literally looking at the forums now and there is absolutely nothing over there that says what is going to happen to Barrow yet. Because... Well, Barrow's here for the Tenocon relay, so are there going to be two? Or is Barrow just going to turn up on Saturday once the Tenocon one leaves, where he is supposed to be for an extra day? Because if that doesn't happen till Saturday, will he still be here on Monday? We'll have to wait and find out for that one. But of course, the big news here is, in fact, the fact that, well, Anaurus Prime has arrived. Normal Anaurus, 550 health, 225 armor, 1 sprint speed, ah, a little bit more health, and a little bit more speed. That's kind of important because he has no shields, it's not a massive amount of health, but it is enough that his max is going to be significantly different. And, let's be honest, he does look much better than normal Anaurus. But the fact that Barrow does have certain responses if you go to see him with a Norris, I was hoping they would do something for Norris Prime, and it sounds like they kind of have. With his blueprint dropping from the Axie W1 relic, with the Lith M6 relic bringing the systems, the Meso... Is that I1 or L1? I would assume it's I1, yep. Having the Neuroptics, and the Neo T3 relic bringing the chassis. Of course, if you want to find out where these drop, it is listed on each and every relic where these can in fact drop. They also drop from relic packs, uh, the Syndicate relic packs, and it also says the Orcwing. The Panthera Prime, on the other hand, has 18% crit chance, the normal one only has 12 with a 2.0 multiplier, that's pretty much the same. The status has gone from 24 to 30, but the damage is still 100. So the damage on both of these is exactly the same. The radial attack, well, that's actually something new because the normal one doesn't have radial attacks. It has a secondary damage, which is 25% crit chance. It's now 26, the status is higher, the crit's higher, but it still does 100 slash damage. It's the fact that, well, the projectile now has a radial attack to it that is going to be the big saving grace of the Panthera Prime. Without it, well, it would have just been this with slightly better crit chance. But it has a radial attack. It literally says radial attack. So that is going to be really interesting to play with. A little bit fun as well, because radial attack's always great. Dropping from the Axie C5 relic for the blueprint, the Lith P3 for the barrel, which is uh, the rare, that's... I hate it when they do that. The Meso N10 for the handle, and the Meso P2 for oh, another rare part, the receiver. So there's four parts in total for it. The normal Karist has... it is pretty slow, 0.75. Uh, the Prime's actually slower, uh, way slower. It has 24% crit chance, 2.2 times multiplier. The normal one is near enough half that. It has a 26% 20, status. The Prime has 30, but the Prime has 344 total damage, which is way more than a normal one has. Obviously the heavy attack is going to have more because, well, it does more damage. So, it still has the toxin on it, which is one of the things I actually used to like about this weapon. But now, it has a visual effect of that toxin damage on it. Still looks almost the same-ish. I'm not too sure. I kind of wish it was just that, but kind of golden. They've kind of gone for this weird looking... It looks kind of similar, and then over-exaggerated that little hook on the end. But the handle to it looks 
really good. I'm actually looking forward to this because this was one of my favourite daggers. And it only has three parts. There is the Axie B4 relic that has brought the handle. There is the Meso K3 relic which has the blade. And then obviously the blueprint is on the Meso P3 relic as the common drop which is not bad at all and still says the arc wing which is still weird but there is many different drop locations for all of these like a lot apart from that one that seems to be very limited in comparison to that then there is the whole prime access and the prime accessories that can come with that if you decide to go that route that will bring that sandana doesn't look bad the armor actually looks really good especially on him they are meant for Anorises, it is his signature sandana and his signature armor set. Let's fast travel to Teshin because, well, he has something new for the Steel Path that really kind of should have come with it last time. There is two ephemeras, there is the Trio Orbit, which actually seen this one and it looks pretty nice. For the record, yes, that still says I have zero of three. I've worked my way to the Void and Cirrus, and I've still yet to drop one. There is still a lot of nodes I haven't actually done, but yeah. It's like everything else in Warframe. I have zero luck, so getting steel, uh, three Steel Essence it's going to be a lot harder than getting a hold of 20 for these things. Then there is... Oh yes, that does say 85 Steel Essence for this one. And yeah, can you see it? This one is actually going to be the ephemera that is going to show off that you have completed hard mode and this is the kind of rewards that people were kind of expecting. That is an ephemera that looks really good. That, that, I like this for a different reason. That is the effect that used to come off a sword that I used to use all the time that I had to put away because people were constantly telling me it's rubbish and it used to shoot these things out of the end of it and it was a melee weapon and that's as far as we're going to go with that because as well as that there are some optimizations a few little changes a few little let's call it tweaks to hmm I can't be the only one who noticed where Aura is standing does this is this kind of a little hint towards this event coming back soon you remember it was it uh, the summer dog days where you had the water pistol uh, really hoping that comes back especially with that being there it's actually kind of showing it off maybe not but can all but hope because as soon as I saw that image and they went on about replacing the sandana and making everything look better oh was it adding the sandana should say adding the sandana because the sandana was not in the original pack which is the whole point of coming here and doing this it has been added and a script will run to add this to anybody who's picked this up soon but it's the fact that it is on the dogs the summer dogs day or whatever that whole thing was called the beach i'm hoping that event is coming back soon it doesn't mention anything in here but we can all but hope that soon this will become a thing again. But until then, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.